Good afternoon, I'm Sebastian Anthony from Extreme Tech and today we're going to be looking at Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud which was released recently. As always, Adobe included a few fancy features to uh, hopefully uh, inspire people to upgrade and today we're going to be looking at uh, shake reduction. Uh, the basic idea is that uh, if you're shooting in low light or you've accidentally set the wrong uh, ex uh, exposure time on your camera, you'll get blur, such as you see the ghosting here on the edge. Um, the other option, obviously, is if you've used a telephoto lens uh, and uh, you just didn't shoot at a fast enough speed. Uh, basically, analyzes the blur and then tries to get rid of the ghosting, I guess. Um, and it moves the picture in the opposite direction. But generally, it's a, an edge finding algorithm, from what I can tell. So you go to sharpen shape reduction and you can immediately see that it's found some edges it's sharpened the picture and it's removed the ghosting i can just turn this off and you can see very clearly sorry ignore that uh, you have some settings that you can change see how this will make the edges sharper And then you have artifact suppression if you want to make it slightly less sharp, but obviously it gets blurry, just like any sharpening tool or denoise tool. And artifact suppression, you get some crazy. Uh, if you have other ob objects in the picture that you'd like to uh, also uh, de blur, you can draw a marquee around it. And then that becomes part of the selection. And this becomes part of the selection. As you can see, I, the result is quite effective. I don't think you'd ever want to do it with a full-size image, but it might be good enough for thumbnails or web pictures. Uh, and also, your results may massively vary depending on the source picture. Here you have a picture of me. Uh, this was taken in Italy last week. And uh, there's some motion blur here, or sorry, camera shake, as you'll see when we zoom in. You see it took quite a while there to compute it, but this is quite a large picture. We move this to a region where the blur is obvious, around the edge of the glass. That's with uh, de-blur on, de-blur off, de-blur on, de-blur off. And you can see, I mean, the image is definitely sharper with uh, the shape reduction turned on. You can see my hair, blurry, sharp. But then again, oh, this will take a while it seems. And then finally I have another image. Uh, you can see here this is camera shake and long exposure. So we have movement from the girl in the middle and we also have movement on my camera. Uh, surprisingly Photoshop actually does quite well here. You can see in a moment it finds the edge of the girl or should I say the woman, the red-haired vixen. It finds the edge of the lady, um, but also still there's plenty of ghosting in the picture from my own movement. The walls are still, you know, the walls are still very, very blurry indeed. So your mileage may vary with uh, shake reduction. Anyway, that is a uh, shake reduction in Photoshop Creative Cloud. I was Sebastian Anthony for Extreme Tech. Goodbye.